hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to configure multiple odoo instance in a single server so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition which we have installed in digital ocean and successfully running and you can see the domain name is also configured with ssl and everything is set up so what we are trying to do is that currently this oru instance is running on port 8069 and we need to have a separate oru instance at a different port that is we will keep this running on 8069 and simultaneously we will be running a different oru instance on different port let's say on 8079 so let's see how we can configure or how to set up that so first of all we have successfully logged into the cloud server which is hosted in digital ocean so if you like to join digital ocean and to get a free credit of 100 usd please feel free to watch the visit video this that we have added in the description so we have logged in the uh, digital ocean server and what we have to do we have to configure a separate oru instance so once you have an oru instance running it's very easy to create a new instance of that same version so here we have oru 15 and we will be running different oru 15 that is order 15 on different port so the use case will be like if you have a production environment with database in order to test something you can keep a different odoo on different port or for giving a different client so the use case may be different according to the need so here what we will do first of all you should know where your configuration file is existing so currently and in most of the case the odoo configuration will be existing on etc folder so we have we can navigate the etc folder by cd slash etc and just click on ls to list all the files inside that folder then here you can see we have a file called odoo server dot conf so currently this is the configuration file of this odoo instance that we are running so we have to take a copy of that and create a new configuration file so that's one step then you have to go to service directory and you have to create a new service so this is these are the two things that you have to do create a configuration file and create a service file and according to the need you can create the database user if need so we will show you that so first of all what we have to do we have to duplicate or copy the existing configuration file so here i have a redundant file that is oru server conf dot save so let me remove that rm minus rf oru server conf dot save so i'm just deleting this file click on enter it has been deleted now we have only this file odoo server.conf so let me copy that so in order to copy in ubuntu you can use sudo cp sudo cp for copy which file i have to copy odoo server.conf so i'm going to copy this file and you can give new file name it's i'm going to create or I'm going to copy this content to this file which will be automatically creating if not existing and if I click on enter it's succeeded click on ls you can see oduconf has been generated to view the content you can use cat odoo.conf click on enter you can see these are the content of that file so everything getting copied so what we can do so we have successfully copied the configuration file now what i have to do is that let's open that file to edit so the nano odoo.conf opening edit mode and let me remove all the unnecessary things that we don't need let me delete this and i'll keep the worker proxy mode everything and here you can see the port that Odoo is running is 8069 which I have to change I need to access my new instance on port 8079 you can just give your port number here so I'm wishing to or willing to run on 8079 so I have just specified the port number then for save click on Control X saved modifier bus buffer click on Y yep I have saved the new file 
So if you cat that file, cat odoo.conf, and see port number has been updated to 8079. So we have successfully copied the configuration file. Then you have to make sure the access right, the ownership of file. So ls minus la, ls minus la. Then where is our file Odoo? Odoo.conf, you can see it's a root directory. And here we are running as root. So if you are running the service as root, it's fine. If you are running the Odoo as Odoo user, then you have to change the permission. So I'll come to this later. So let me know what we have to do. So we have successfully created the configuration file for the Odoo instance. Now we have to locate the service file of existing Odoo instance. So the service file will be mostly in this folder cd slash etc init d ls you can see odoo server you can see a file named odoo server so if you are not finding it here inside etc init d you can check in cd slash etc system md system click on ls so if you don't find in etc init d you can check this path cd etc system md system so currently we have in init d so let me go back to init d folder cd slash etc init dot d ls so here we have odoo server so we have to copy this file also so sudo cp i'll execute same command cp odoo server i have to copy to odoo enter ls you can see new file has been generated now let me open that in edit mode sudo nano odoo click on enter and this is my new service file so if you check here the service file may differ from one instance to another based on how it is configured but the things are very simple you have to find the configuration file so here you can see config file etc odoo server.conf but our new configuration file is odoo.conf so i'll change here etc odoo.conf file then that's fine then what i have to do then here you can see we are running the odoo user is odoo here user is odoo so we have to change the permission of our configuration file so if i go to downside there is nothing to change we have simply copied the file and changed the path to config file that is instead of odoo server.conf here i have specified my new file name that is odoo.conf then save this control x y enter then check the file permission of this also ls minus la then you can see it's running as root this is also root there is no issues now what we have to do we have to go to etc folder and change the ownership of odoo file so odoo config file ls minus la here you can see the owner owner of the newly added file is root we have to make it as odoo so in order to change that sudo ch on odoo colon odoo odoo dot conf you can run like this so once you run this the ownership of the file has been changed to odoo so now if you check odoo conf yeah, you can see the owner has been changed to Odoo. So we have some successfully created the service file and configuration file. Now what we have to do, we have to run this service and see what happens. So I can run my new service as sudo service Odoo stop. And you can see unit Odoo.service not loaded. So let me check again cd init.d ls and what i have to do let me open the new file sudo nano odoo and if you check here i'll change the name here to understand because for old one also i have given the name as odoo server so here i'll put the name as odoo and the thing is fine click on control x y enter you can see unit service not loaded 
there is one con command sudo daemon reload not remembering the command let me check the internet so if i go to browser this one i have to reload let me try this command let me copy this and if i execute that And let me try to stop you can see currently that warning has been disappeared initially when we are running this we are receiving fail to stop dot service not loaded but once we run this it's fine now i can start my odoo service as sudo service odoo start and let me check the status of service and you can see active running and you can see the number of workers here so let's go to the ui and here we have the 8079 so let's execute and see what happens so it's not, i think it's not accessible and let me check the log yep one more thing that you have to specify is in configuration file you have to specify the log file separate log file so let me go to configuration file sudo nano etc odoo.conf then here we have log file so you have to change or keep a separate log file for this instance just give the name as odoo.log and the file will be automatically generated control x y so we have updated now let's check the path cd slash var log odoo ls so here we can see odoo.log so let me remove r minus r of odoo.log i have removed that file but it will be coming again so let me stop the service stop status you can see it's inactive let me remove that again odoo.log you can see currently the file is not there odoo.log is not there but once i restart the service if i start the service the file will be automatically generated now to see the content of that file sudo tail nsf odoo.log and you can see there is some issues like what you can see there are some things showing in the log something like package maybe the i have to open the port 8079 maybe due to that so i'll do one thing instead of https let me use my ip address to access the instance so my ip address is 159 so let me try to open via ip this is the ip and if i try to access by 8079 let's see what happens you can see the Odoo is accessible and manage database you can see Odoo 15 so currently you can see on 8079 you can see the same database that you are seeing here so there might be some case where you have to show or we don't need to see the database that we are seeing here in this instance so in such cases what you have to do is that you have to create a Postgres user for this instance so in order to create a new postgres user we have already created a video in our channel you can see 
here we have a video showing you how we can create a postgres user so i'll add that in the description section or i'll just copy this command i'll copy this command and what i'll do is that here we have our terminal so let me clear control z and let me clear all these things here and we have to log in to the postgres sudo su postgres you can see we have switched to the postgres now we have to create a user so i'll run this command create user create db and i'll name it as oru15 click on enter then it will ask for the password so i'll enter the password i'll enter it again and we have successfully created a postgres user with name oru15 so a new user is created and what I have, to, I have to log out the postgres and enter exit you can see i'm switched back to root now i have to update my configuration file sudo nano slash etc and i have to update odoo.conf then here we have to specify db user the new user we have created which is odoo15 db port which is 5432 db host local host then db password is odoo so i have just entered the all the information db user odoo 15 db port db host and db password then save this control x y enter now you have to just restart the odoo instance so i'll stop the instance first to stop i can run sudo service odoo stop so once i stop make sure that odoo is not accessible here you can see so it cannot be connected fine now i'll start the instance i've started the instance now if you go to the ui and if you run you can see the database selector page is shown earlier it was showing this database and currently it is showing this page by which we can create a database in odoo so this is how we can configure multiple odoo instance in a single server just copy the existing configuration file give a new name modify the port number modify the new add new log file and set the database user if you need and copy the service file and create new file so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions please let us know directly under the video as a comment and feel free to connect us in the email for your any queries related with odoo and if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by sharing the video with your odoo friends and in your social medias and recently we have started membership on the channel so feel free to join by taking a membership which will be a great helpful for us so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you